I've heard a lot of feedback where so many are not even catching how much we've done in visual effects. You think we didn't do anything here? That is the best compliment that I could receive because it means we did our job and we did it well. Oh my God, who would I be? Interesting question that I've never thought about. I mean, I like the idea of being Lucy. I don't think I have, you know, the same quirky, endearing, and hilarious qualities maybe that she has at the very beginning, but the way she kind of, you know, embraces this journey and evolves in terms of how she uh, toughens up and then and survives in the world of the wasteland, I think is just so remarkable and also you know, she's so endearing, she's so likable. Who wouldn't want to be Lucy? <laughs> <laughs> it's always really about that strategic, deliberate planning early on, and then being very diligent about the execution. You're building partial, you know, vertebrate, so there's something for the actors to be interacting with, there's something that's capturing the interactive light in the scene, so that ultimately later, when we're doing our part in visual effects, we're plussing it. We're really enhancing each of these pieces, but it already feels real because the way it was shot on the day was really grounded in that practical approach, that we're then able to take it and, and make sure the final execution is realizing and achieving the goal of the photorealistic VFX. It does feel real. And so you're focused on what's happening in the story, what's going on with these characters, what's their journey, what's their character arc. And that's what we want. That's, that's what we're there to do is help support. We were shooting in these magnificent locations all over the world, Namibia, various locations in New York, Utah, and then how are we connecting these locations to create our version of a post-apocalyptic Los Angeles? We still have sort of these iconic LA pieces like LAX and Randy's Donuts. Also, while our character Lucy is on her journey, she's always sort of grounded in the vantage point of where downtown Los Angeles is and also where the observatory is. So we had some creative liberty to really create our own version of the city uh, and not be tied down to an exact map per se. It was always more about the feel, something that could be very specifically our version of Fallout.